Growing up, the most amazing picture I think any human being had ever seen was taken by the astronauts on the Apollo 8 mission. As they orbited the surface of the moon, they took video of the Earth as it was rising over the horizon. This stunning view would come to be called Earthrise. No one had ever seen our planet from this vantage point before. This beautiful blue planet shining in the darkness. For the first time, really, we saw our planet and ourselves on it as one, as this one fragile ball adrift in the dark, vast ocean of the universe. Fast forward 53 years and that same view is available online instantly in this amazing app you probably know called Google Earth. As old as I am when that app came out, I knew I had to try this. It's really something. You start out in space looking at the entire planet in front of you. And then by zooming in, you can narrow it to just North America. Zoom in further and you can get to just Missouri. Tighter and tighter until we've gone from the grand perspective of Earth as seen from space to a view of our own neighborhood, even our own backyard. What a marvelous perspective this gives us about our place in the universe. What Google Earth does with geography, today's gospel writer, Luke, does with history. He's trying to set the birth of Jesus into this kind of cosmic historical perspective. He starts with the big picture. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, the world power, then he zooms in a bit. Pontius Pilate as governor, he zooms in more. Herod and Philip as local mayors, more the religious climate of Annas and Caiaphas. And finally, Luke takes us deepest down to a single point in the history of this world. John the Baptist. That is the focal point for pointing us to the arrival of the Messiah, a single figure named John crying out in the desert, one solitary lonely voice saying, don't miss it folks, he's coming, be alert, be awake, be aware, listen to him, listen to him. Let's do maybe our own personal version of zooming in on our own Google Earth, huh? Let's start first with that big picture of the view of the planet from space. We zoom into this continent, right, North America, then further and further ultimately to this building, to this moment, to you. You. The voice cries out in the wilderness to you this day. And what's the message? What is the word from God for you at this particular time, in this particular place, in this particular moment? The message from God for each of us this day is one of these three, I think, from today's scriptures. Maybe to some of us, God is trying to say all three, but most likely there's one this day that resonates more strongly, that one that's really more directed to you or to me. So which of these three does God have for you? One, have hope. Have hope. The valleys will be raised. 
The mountains will be made low. Don't give up. Hang in there. You have reason to hang on to hope. Is God speaking to you a word of hope? I'll pause for a moment. What is God trying to say to you about hope? Or perhaps this second message is particularly addressed to you. Number two, the world needs you. At this time in history, you are part of the answer to someone's prayer. Jump in. Help lower that mountain for those who are at such disadvantage in life. Help fill in that valley for someone in need. Get involved in that effort. Does God tug on your heart to serve God's people in some way? I'll pause. What might God be asking of you? And three. Maybe it's this word from that voice crying in the desert, in the desert. Repent. Really. Repent. Stop being so angry. Start becoming more grateful and kind. Repent. Don't drink so much. Make Sunday Mass, a a regular part of your week. Simplify. Make some moments of silence a regular part of your day. Might God be asking you to repent? I'll pause. How? To end, let's do our version of a Google Earth Zoom one more time. This time, going in the other direction, this time we begin with you. There you are, you. Right where you are right now. Then you pull back and see the church or the house or wherever you are right now and anyone else with you. Pull back further to see this area, North America, and finally, this planet. And it is with that image in mind, that vantage point of this one planet shining blue and white and green in space that we receive the final message from God. And this time... This is the word of God which comes to each of us. Can you see it? You are part of something much bigger than just you. My children, you are in this together. Together. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could see that? If we could see what God sees in us, believe what God believes about us, it would be more wonderful than being the first person to see the earth rise over the moon.